The BJP and Narendra Modi just won India's election in unprecedented fashion. Voters want a change and specifically they wanted to see renewed economic vigor. So the question is, can he remake India in Gujarat's image? Modi has several factors working in his favor. His single party majority in the Lok Sabha reduces his reliance on regional parties. He doesn't need parliamentary approval for many areas requiring reform, such as foreign investment caps and application of tax law. He also doesn't need parliament's backing for every road, bridge, and port he would like to build. However, there are real constraints on what he can do. Modi faces fiscal limits that will make it difficult to give the types of tax breaks he gave to investors into Gujarat. And the BJP has a powerful internal faction that's less comfortable relying on global trade. The BJP has just 18% of the seats in the Rajya Sabha, a number unlikely to change anytime soon. Plus, it only controls five of India's 29 states. These five states are well positioned to be an initial base of economic growth. Add in the states controlled by key allies, and this block is even larger. Looking ahead to states holding elections later this year, and where the BJP won the majority of parliament seats, the bloc could become quite impressive. It represents 41% of India's population, producing nearly 55% of the nation's economic output. These states are already among the nation's highest performing. If they are able to work together and form a powerful regional hub, this arc of industry will become a key economic engine. Not only is this part of the country large and economically strong, it also includes important assets that will amplify the region's economic potential. More importantly, the entire Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor is in this region. It's the largest infrastructure project ever attempted in India. The 920-mile dedicated freight corridor runs through six states, primarily Rajasthan, Gujarat, and Maharashtra. New development is expected among the already established airports and industrial townships. Now, the government cannot focus exclusively on developing this region at the expense of other parts of the country. But the ongoing work on the corridor, combined with the potential of a regional center-state alignment, provides states a unique opportunity for cooperation that could expedite development and create a new arc of industry in India.